Hello and welcome to our video presentation on understanding how to give our entrance exam at St. Xavier's College by using your mobile phone. So let's say you have an Android mobile phone and we go to the application that whose link has been sent to you via email, the St. Xavier's test application. It looks something like this. What I'm going to do is I am going to first feed in my email ID, which is my registered email ID. So once I've put it in, I'm going to click on login and I shall put my password uh, that has been sent to me. And once done, it logs me in and brings me to my test. As we can see here, I've been brought to the mock test on the page. Now, what exactly is going to happen here is I'm going to be explaining to you how to look at this dashboard on screen and how are you going to use the various tools available on this platform. So you have information about the active test, um, any upcoming test that is the test that's going to show upcoming once your date is nearing your examination to identify your date is coming. It doesn't mean that you can answer your paper, but it just tells you that your test is coming. And in case you have given the mock test, it will be present in the past test as it is already done and it will show up as a past test. So here is the most important tool uh, that is the active test currently present for me right now to answer as a mock test. And I, Kyle, am going to explain to you how to go about with this. But again, another important tool on this platform to be utilized is this button on the top right hand end, which is nothing but the logout button. If you wish to log out, you can click on the button and click on logout or else right now I will click on cancel as I need to go ahead. Now, if you look at this, you can see the title of your test. In this case, it's a mock test, which is the title. The subject to my paper, which I will be answering, is present on the next line. Um, the fact that I can attempt it anytime. Sometimes it may show you, in your case, attempt between, maybe attempt between uh, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. or 9 5 and 11 5 because it's it's allotted uh, by the time period of your paper. Um, please do not go ahead with these time limits because um, these are just for explanation purpose. Your real time for your paper will be sent to you via email or you may look at the college website for the same. The maximum marks that have been allotted for your test paper is also present here. Um, you can answer your paper and click on the button attempt test. When you do so, you are presented with this screen with some generalized instructions. These entire list of instructions is something I would insist you spend some time read upon it because one of the most important criteria in this test is that your examination during the test time period is screen locked, which means if you exit your screen, your paper is auto submitted and no one can allow you to re-give the paper. So please read these instructions carefully before you answer your tests and go ahead. So you see, I cannot even zoom in uh, for a very simple fact that this is a screen locked system and it has been restricted to usage only for you to read across these instructions. What? Now, because of this, I want you to keep in mind that you have to click at this bottom tick mark box in order to start your test. So once you have done this and you have read your instructions, you can now start your test. Now, once you've clicked on this, you can click on start test. So we'll click on start test. But again, what happens when we have our test paper started? Once your test paper starts, you cannot allow any pop-ups to come. If you see right now on the top end, I've got some notifications, but while the main exam is going to happen, you cannot have these notifications up. So please check in the description of this video. How do you turn off your notifications on your mobile phone? And even if you plan to change your mind and do it on a laptop, maybe a Windows or a Mac related system, please ensure that your notifications are switched off. 
Now on the screen, there are various key elements about this page. Uh, while you look at the test, you can see particularly your question is present here. And once you've got your question, you've got your four options. Okay, once you've got this in place, um, let me click something and just say that Arctic is the smallest ocean. I'm not being correct or, or right or wrong or being judgmental about my answers. Uh, but however, what I'm focusing here is on the fact that you have to look at the options available for your questions. You can click next and go to your next question. Um, however, if you wish to keep it red for later, you can click on this little flag so that you can come back to this question in case you do not know the answer to this question, you can click on that little bit of a yellow button at the bottom, orangish yellowish button uh, that arises on your screen. You can click on this button to identify uh, that this question was something that you kept as a read for later time period. So by clicking up the arrow, you can see that your first one has been answered and the second one is in orange as a read for later. For more details on the legends of this examination, I would request you to watch how to attempt the test section of this video, uh, which is present on this channel as well, which is allotted for laptops. But yes, the coloration systems and the demarcations are the same. You can see that when you have a block like this, which is present with the word selected, that shows a white box with a blue outline. It means it's the question you are currently reading. However, the green, yeah, orange dot in the center identifies that it's a mark for read later and the green would demarcate that you have done your test. If you also wish to focus upon another important factor that I want you to bring it into this picture line here is the fact that all the various demarcations of your subjects are here. So if I want to go to mathematics, I will click on maths, click on the question and I'm presented with the question associated to maths. However, since I do not know the answer, I'm going to keep it at orange tick mark. And uh, when I go onto an orange tick mark, it brings me to a read later criteria. So if I click on the side up arrow again, it showed that I put that first question as an orange tick mark while the second one I may be knowing this time. So I click the answer and I click next. But now in this case, in the next, I'm directly brought into my next section on statistics. So you see here, I was automatically by clicking next, I was moved to the next section on statistics and I can click on any option here once again to click my answer. So let me just answer all these questions at random. But again, I want to be presenting to you a very, very important section in this computer science category where you may have sometimes data tables or maybe paragraphs or paragraph related questions that you may need to answer. So what you need to do in this case is have a look at this I. There's a symbol I. Now that I indicates the paragraph that you are going to read or the data table you are going to read. And one, two, three after it are the questions allotted to that paragraph. Successively, you again have another I. If you see, it opens up into a paragraph uh, that has been allotted. Once you have read this, you can say, go to the question, which is kept at the bottom. You can now go to the question and answer the required questions associated with that paragraph. So I'm answering the five questions or four questions allotted to this paragraph, but it directly brought me to the last question. So I could click submit, but I'm going to check have I answered everything. So no, I need to answer this question based on the first paragraph. So I'll go to the question, maybe answer the questions now. And once done, I can check out what is answered and not answered. But if I feel that I cannot answer them and I'm done, I'm skeptical about some answers, then I can just directly click the button submit. Now, what happens is here in the button submit, you are presented with this notification that will come up. I want you to spend special time in reading what this is. Once you submit, please wait for a while for your answers to be synced and your paper gets submitted and you can click OK. Now, what happens here is you also had an option to cancel it within a given stipulated time. In case you have clicked on the word submit, unfortunately, 
you can click on the word cancel so this prevents you from submitting without your 100% permission but however now we can click and that's okay so my active test which was there has now gone away and I no longer have the mock test for me I have submitted my test related to my examination and at that I'm going to go and go and click the last of the last buttons that is the log out button and end my session by clicking log out that brings me to the original page thank you so much for watching this video all the best for your examinations